ricotta. One of my all-time favorite chicken dishes. Lots of lemon, butter, capers, and white wine. Come on now. Let's go. First, let's take care of those chicken breasts. We got three of them. Not one, not two, but three. We're gonna pound them out just a little bit. A little thinner makes them cook just a little bit quicker. Just with the back of your hand, give them a little pound. All right, we just pounded them out nice and lightly. Now we're gonna season with some kosher salt and black pepper. Now we're gonna dredge our seasoned chicken breasts in all-purpose flour, which gives them a really nice crust and helps thicken the sauce. We're gonna have a little tomato concasse ready for our chicken piccata sauce. What does the concasse say? It's the outside of the tomato. We don't want the seeds, we save that for tomato sauce. Less moisture. We're gonna need to finish our piccata sauce. Lots and lots of chopped fresh parsley. We're gonna need lots of fresh lemon juice for this piccata, so let's make sure we squeeze it ahead of time so we have no seeds in our beautifully velvety sauce. First, we gotta brown our chicken breast in a hot pan. We're gonna garnish our chicken piccata with just some lightly sauteed spinach and a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Fire looks cool when you're cooking, but you don't want to cook with fire, except in the backyard. Let's flip those chicken breasts with a nice and golden brown. Look at that. I would say our chicken breasts are about 70% of the way cooked, so we're going to remove them from the pan and finish them in the sauce. Time to deglaze our pan with a little bit of white wine off the heat. Get all that flavor out of that pan. See all that? That's called the glaze in the pan. All that fun that was on the bottom of the pan is now in the sauce, adding a ton of flavor. While our white wine is reducing, we're gonna hit it with lots of fresh lemon juice, our capers, a little bit of chicken stock. Always gotta season our pan sauce with salt and pepper. Now we're just gonna let this reduce down just a little bit. A little pro tip. One teaspoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of cold water, make a little slurry, throw it in there. It'll prevent your sauce from breaking when you add all that butter. Make sure you cook it for just a few minutes to cook out that cornstarch. Not traditional, but I like to add a little fresh diced tomato to freshen it up just a little bit. Now it's time to add all that butter to thicken up that sauce and make it smooth, creamy, and oh so delicious. That sauce is thickening it up. We're gonna add back in our chicken breasts to finish them cooking in this buttery lemon sauce. You can see the sauce thickening up from all the butter, getting velvety and delicious. We're gonna baste these chicken breasts with all that buttery lemon sauce. All right, this sauce is right where we want it. It's nice and thick. Our chicken breasts are nice and juicy. One thing left to do, we're gonna finish it with some chopped parsley. Kill the heat, that's what it's all about. We got a nice bed of sauteed spinach with garlic and olive oil. It's gonna help absorb all that buttery lemon sauce. We're gonna take our chicken breasts, one, two, and three. And most importantly, we're gonna take some of this luxurious piccata pan sauce and drape it right over the top because these breasts should be smothered in all that lemon, butter, capers, and parsley. We're just gonna finish it a little more chopped parsley over the top. And of course, because there's lemon in the dish, you put the lemon on the plate. You wanna see the most important thing? I'll show you the most important thing. Look at the inside of the breast. Moist and juicy. Don't overcook your poultry. So tender and silky smooth.